Hi, I'm Midge Shoemaker and today is day 35 of my doing 100 days of YouTube videos and focusing on recognizing God's hand in my life. So yay for day 35. <laughs> so today was kind of um, a huge one for me. I um, went for a walk in the heat. Not the most recommended thing in the world to do, but I took my water bottle with me, drank about half of it, so that's good. <laughs> I'm pretty sure, you know, being in July in Arizona that it was over 100 degrees walking over there this afternoon. Um, and yes, it was afternoon. It was like 1 o'clock in the afternoon, maybe 1.30 when I went for a walk. So um, not quite the hottest time of the day, but getting there. Um, I needed to buy journals because I filled up my journals last night. So yay. And I had this thought in my head and I'm pretty sure that it was a, you know, prompting from God that I should take my coin first with me because I was going to pay cash, had a little bit of cash and I didn't want to spend the money in my checking account. So I was like, okay, this is all the money I got. <laughs> and so I went and I kind of scrutinized all of the journals and there were some that I liked more, but they're so expensive. Oh my gosh. I'm like, seriously, they put a binder on something, the cool little um, book cover, basically. And then it's a bunch of lined paper on the inside. Some of them, granted, have quotes and stuff on the, every page. And they have little fun little designs on the pages, too. But most of them, it's just it's just the paper. And they still charge 15 to 20 bucks for a journal. And it's like, oh, my goodness. It's ridiculous. So I got these lovely little journals. This one says, happiness is found along the way of this journey by President Howard W. Hunter. Loved him as a prophet. He wasn't one for very long, I think like six months or something. But anyway, they had bright red and they had blue. And I'm like, I still really want the bright red one. So I got a blue one. And that was like 10 bucks, I think. I don't remember. It's like ridiculous how much that is. But yeah. Oh no, this one was nine bucks. So I was like, hey, I can get this one because it's nine bucks. And then this one was 10 bucks. But it says Blessed is he, she who believes. She who believes? Yes. Blessed is she who believes. But I love the little birdies and the outdoor things and the butterflies. And then it has the fun little, the fun little ones on the inside where it has the little birdies and everything else too, which is really cool. And this one was only 10 bucks. So I had $20 with me and I figured, <laughs> I figured nine and 10 is 11 bucks, right? So I, you know, should be able to pay for that. But, um, it was a little over $20 and I was like $20.50 or something. And I was like, dang it, I should have brought my coin purse with me. And I had that thought that I should have brought my coin purse with me. And the reason I got two journals is because if I get the small ones, I might fill them up in less than a month. And I want to have at least enough to get through a month. But if I got one of the, the, the more expensive ones, if I filled it up in less than a month, I wouldn't have any more money. So um, I want to have journals. And this way I can guarantee I have will fill it up and, you know, have enough writing space for at least a month and maybe I'll have enough for two months. Anyway, um, plus I just always like to buy journals and there were so many I wish that I could just buy a whole bunch of them because then I, it's kind of also motivation for me to write in them because I get um, excited to write in new things. I'm like, it's a new one. I get to start a new one. Something about starting a new one is, you know, no matter how many new journals I start, I still get excited about it. Anyway, <laughs> so... The point is I really didn't listen to that prompting that I should take my coin purse with me. And there was a new person behind the counter. She was in training, but the person training her is someone that I work with at the temple on Saturdays and not someone that I, I know well. I just recognize her face. So I've seen her at the temple every Saturday and we just kind of smile and passing because we work together. But um, there's not a lot of talking going on. We just kind of pass each other, change shifts, whatever, you know. Um, swap locations kind of a thing, <laughs> trade, up, trade up what we're doing, trade assignments or something. But um, so she's just someone I've seen, but not really familiar with. And I was like, okay, I will have to put the 50 cents on my card out of my checking account because I only have $20 in cash. And I was, she was like, okay, you know what? Hold on just a minute. I've got a 20% off coupon. And she went to the back and she got this 20% off coupon and came back and scanned it. So it, it ended up being like $16 and 40 cents or 40 something cents. I don't know. Somebody can do the math on that and figure out exactly what it was. They're going to email me the receipt. And I'm like, I don't really care. Um, all I cared was about getting the journals. <laughs> but I just, I know that that God was helping me in that moment today because 
he helps me have the energy to walk in the heat over there to get these journals. And then to have someone that I knew or that recognized me that was willing to go out of their way to to give me, let me use their coupon because I didn't have a coupon or anything else like that. I'm like, all I got is 20 bucks on me. And I'm like, I'm 50 cents short, 53 cents short, whatever. And I'm like, great, I'm going to have to put one of these back. I'm going to have to, you know, put it on my card for 53 cents. And I don't know, it always seems dumb to use a debit card for less than a dollar. I mean, it used to when they first came out and now it's kind of like an everyday thing, whatever. So I'm like, 53 cents isn't too bad to put on my card. Um, and I could, I have a change purse at home. I have a bunch of change and I thought about taking it with me. And then I just, I ignored that thought. And I think, you know, <laughs> even though God knew that he told me, he's like, I told you to take your coin purse and he would have been fine. I didn't take it with me. So I didn't overspend the $20. That was the whole point. So I wouldn't go over the $20. Um, but even though I didn't listen to that prompting, I he still made it okay because someone there decided to help me out. And then I still ended up coming home with like $3 because, you know, the discount made it 16 bucks and I was like, yay. So I just feel, feel so blessed and so grateful. And I was like, wow, I am so, I'm so grateful. They did that for me. Um, and that, that worked out just the way that it worked out. It was just, I don't know. It was just perfect today. And I just thought God is just watching out for me today. God is just, helping me. He is aware of me in my life today. And he knows that I need these journals because they, they help me to process all of my emotions and to get everything out. And I have been working to journal and filled up my other journal. And so I think this is kind of like my reward. God is rewarding me for my efforts. And even though I didn't listen, um, he still helped me at the bookstore, which I think is just amazing and I am so very grateful for that and feel just so blessed and so grateful for the people in my life, the people that God has put in my life and for all the other people that are aware of me and not just God. I think he sends angels, ones from the other side of the veil as you know, that have passed on as well as those that are that are here, like physically in our lives to just show up when we need them. And I just think it's so amazing and I am so grateful for that and so grateful to be aware of that and what a what a blessing it is and so grateful for the generosity of um this person that just worked there and said hey i have a coupon let me go get it for you and she went back to like her locker or her purse whatever her stuff was and got a coupon and that was just amazing and i i'm so grateful for that so that is what i have for today um and if you like these videos, you can hit like, subscribe, share with someone else if you think they'll like it too, or share your own stories down in the comment. I would love to read them and hope you have a great day full of gratitude and find ways to recognize God's hand in your life too.